Welcome to Programming Knowledge. Hello everyone. In the previous set of videos in Scikit-Learn tutorial series, we have seen how to download and install the required packages, load data of different kinds using various methods, and also built a simple support vector classifier and tested its accuracy. In this video, we'll learn about the concept of pipeline. Now, a typical pipeline consists of a pre-processing step that transforms or imputes the data and a final predictor that predicts target values. So transformers and estimators, that is the predictors, can be combined together into a single unifying object, that is a pipeline. So pipeline is combining different transformers and uh, estimators to automate machine learning workflows as it sequentially applies a list of trans uh, a list of uh, transforms and a final estimator now that we have uh, now that we have uh, some theoretical idea about pipelining let's head over to python and code its simple implementation and see how it is actually done so first of all we'll import the required packages and data sets so let's first import the iris data set from sklearn dot data sets import load iris uh, <clears throat> we had used a standard scalar the last time so this time let's try the min max scalar we'll discuss about it in a while but first let's uh, import the uh, min max scalar first from sklearn dot pre processing import min max scalar now we'll import a simple linear model logistic regression so from sklearn dot linear underscore model import logistic regression and for splitting the data into training and testing set the model selection is accordingly imported from sklearn dot model selection import train test split and finally we'll import the pipeline so from sklearn dot pipeline we will import pipeline mind you it is case, uh, case sensitive so be alert and use a capital p later and a small p before most of the things uh, that we have imported we have discussed about it in the previous videos so I'm not going to detail into all of these and in case you have missed uh, any of those concepts then do uh, see our previous videos in this series and still if you are having any confusion then do comment it as a comment below. Here x is an element of a particular instance. So what minmax scalar does is that it uh, first subtract the minimum of x's from x and divides the result by the difference of x is max and min this intermediate result is now multiplied to the range that is a max and uh, max minus min and then the min is added min and max are nothing but feature ranges now let's write iris iris are a variable in which we will load our iris data set iris equals to load iris 
after that we'll uh, split our data set into training and test set so x underscore train comma x underscore test comma y underscore train and y underscore test let's call train test split method in this we'll write iris dot data for x train then iris dot target these are for x and y respectively and then we'll specify that how much percentage of the whole data set we want to be as our testing set so let's say uh, 0 0.2 that is the 20 percent means 20 percent of our data will be used for testing and let's see the random variable so random state let's say 42 now we'll create the pipeline again a variable pipe underscore lr for logistic regression pipeline mind you here p is capital again a variable's name min max for min max scalar After this, now that the scalar has been added, let's uh, add our uh, it is the logistic regression estimator or predictor. Logistic regression. Okay, now let's fit our data in this pipeline. So pipe underscore lr dot fit x train and y train x train comma y train. Okay. now let's see the score name now let's name variable score and store the score in it so right, pipe underscore lr dot score let's see how good our model is doing x underscore test comma y underscore test so as you can see our model is 90 percent accurate in guessing the unknown uh, examples or the examples that it has not seen before and hence we have created a simple pipeline in which uh, we have first scaled the data using the min max scalar and then applied a simple uh, linear logistic regression for uh, uh, classifying the iris data set